This conference will now be recorded. Hi, good morning, all of you. Uh, today we'll see how to maintain your uh, so platform app builder. Okay, so in Winter 21, along with the PD1, okay, so we have so platform app builder certification maintenance also. Right. Uh, so in this platform uh, certification maintenance, we have uh, two units. The first one is a quiz. And second one is water so we have seven scenario itself right so based on scenario we'll execute we'll complete this uh, so maintenance certification total we have uh, so 600 points is there right uh, so let's see the first unit okay so what's that uh, so what are the new things we have in our builder in a uh, winter a 21 question okay so just we can uh, launch this so by clicking on this arrow right so so learn what's new for app builder in a uh, so winner winter 21 so in this uh, unit okay so we are going to learn this the information right uh, so just you can go to bottom of the page uh see here we have some quizzes there so let's see is the one by one so where should an application app builder go to analyze the performance of the lightning record page obviously that is a lightning app builder Right, uh, in lighting app builder only we need to analyze the uh, record base and other thing next uh, so what field is updated when deploying uh, a sharing setting is uh, simultaneously so that is uh, sharing a model that is sharing a model right uh, nice so what should an app builder use to build a uh, collection of records for the so three different uh, custom objects right uh, so three different uh, custom objects means what so we have to use a reusable screen component got it so we have to use a reusable screen component to define so three different custom objects right and then coming to the so fourth one so an app builder received feedback uh, that a custom page layout has too many fields on it okay and some fields are needed if other fields are entered okay Next, so what should the app builders configure with this issue? Okay, so a dependent pick list. Uh, okay, so one thing is depend upon the another field. Okay, so let's check here dynamic forms. So we'll see. So whether right or wrong or later. Next, uh, so what type of flow is available for app builders so or debug another a user? But that is a screen flow. Right. So total, so five equations is there. Okay, so in the first term we complete five equations, uh, we'll earn uh, so 100 points. Otherwise, second term we'll uh, 50 points. And third one, obviously, so third or so fourth, how many number of times? But after the second time, we'll get uh, 25 points. Right, and then after, so click on, oh, yes. Okay, so in platform map builder maintenance, so 50% compared, right? Because the first unit was uh, completed first unit was uh, completed and then after what so we have a second unit okay then we can go to the second unit so in the second unit we have so one challenge is there so what's the challenge related to the uh, flow right okay so flow before save the trigger so before save the record so we need to do okay so just you can go bottom so here we have a yeah we have to use a record trigger flow right and then after some uh instructions and the uh, conditions everything is there yes this is right so let's see so what we have to do so first one is to create a new pick list field on which object account object so what was the field name that is onboarding status so what was the values these are the values right so let's see so create a field on account object right uh then we can go to accounts so can go to right side plus new so what type of field uh, that is a uh, pick list field select here pick list click on next then what was the label on board status okay so we have to enter the uh, values manually so what was the values so first one is what not started first one is what not started and the second one is what in progress 
it progress and coming to third one is what complete complete that's not fine okay so we need to create three fields okay so we created a three fields sorry three values okay so in this list model so onboarding status so we created three fields not then after click on next and save it right so then what we have to do so we need to create a, a new flow is to can go here quick find box then you can enter flow and we have flow is then a click on flows right so we need to create a new flow click on a new flow it will be obviously related to the lightning right so so new flow so what was the flow type that is a record a triggered flow right so means what so we need to select a record triggered flow select this record triggered flow then click on next so so i'm going to select here so free form right okay so then after see here we have already so record triggered flow is created and then after so we'll see hmm, coming to the next uh, the flow name is on board so triggered flow when a record is created or updated and before the record was saved right so just click on edit button right so before the record was saved and then after what the when the record is so created or updated am I right see here so when the record is so created or updated right so here just you can come here select the store third option when the record is created or updated and then after so before the record is saved see here so before the record is saved right and then click on done then click on done so then after what we have to do so we need to choose the object right on which object we are going to work on this see here here they provided object name also so object is account object is account now you can come here you have to select account object right i selected object and then after so here you need to provide the field on which field on feed field see here so they provide a field also that is onboarding status onboarding status equals to the complete onboard status equals to the complete now you can come here see onboard status right onboard status equals to complete got it onboard status equals to complete then we enter now right onboard status equals to complete so next uh, so we have so one more condition so only when the record is uh, updated to meet the condition a requirement now you can come here select the second option then click on done on account object so we added one condition on account object we added one condition right and then after so we have so one more thing is there so that is called the assignment and that is called the what assignment so we need to create a new assignment and then we need to assign to the workflow then you can come here so here left side we have assignment is then right so just so drag and drop assignment like this drag and drop assignment like this and then after here so we need to provide the a label right so what was the label name and what was the label name that is a new label sorry a new assignment come here a new assignment the api name automatically it will fetch now you can come here a uh, set the variable values right so we need to set the variable values so what was the variable values here we have so what was the variable that is a record is active right so record that active underscore underscore c equals to the yes right so whenever this variable equals to s okay i need to activate this flow then after right and then you can come here then after come here so here at this one
just I'm copying this one. Copy. Paste. Then after equals to the this right and then after click on done got it so what we did same we did this assignment when the record equals to the s record active equals to the s then after what was the name of the flow that is on board then here we need to assign to this one right and then after click on save so what was the label that is onboarding then click on save right so once you save this one up and then after you need to activate it so here see here so in active mode right up so then we need to activate the last apc here so act the flow then you can come here activate the flow right so as of now my flow is under active condition okay so now you can come here so then scroll down a little bit then after so just you can check your challenge It's taking something is mistake. Yes, completed. You got it. So your app builder maintenance also completed. I got it. So let me confirm. Yes, see here, your app builder maintenance was completed. Got it? So, thanks for watching.